All right. The next story quest is called... <clears throat> Sorry, I had to stretch at that exact moment. City of the Ancients, given to us by Yeshtola. And we are in a new little, like, underwater section, which is the Ondo Cups. Ondo? Ondo? Oh, we have some plus quests, damn it. Or if we have one plus quest. I'll go see in a second if that's um, for an etherite. It probably doesn't even matter. Ether, or ether current, sorry. But Yishtola, here we go. Oh, mercy, have you learned aught of the note? Of note, sorry, have you learned aught of note? Fascinating, and precisely the sort of information I was hoping to hear. In fact, if you have a moment, I'd like to bor borrow your eyes to confirm a theory I've been working on. Come. Click the go button too soon. I have a further, I don't know if I talked about it on my Final Fantasy videos or um, it's either Final Fantasy or Guild Wars at this point because I haven't played BG3 in a while, like a week and a half ish. Just, I don't, I want to make videos, but I don't. People, the people who comment have been mostly dicks. <laughs> so, it shouldn't get to me. I should just disable comments. Or like hold them. I could hold them and then not allow them at all if they suck. But that seems kind of disingenuous. But anyway, um, today, roughly an hour ago, I had both of my monitors, like both of them. Oh, so it's probably the video card that did it. Oh, that makes more sense now. But both my monitors shut off simultaneously. Well, not shut off. Both my monitors lost connection simultaneously. And this is two weeks after I lost Ethernet. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. It's probably not related. I just opened the panel on the side and you know sprayed some air in there to get all the dust and stuff off. And there was a decent accumulation of dust, I'm not gonna lie. Not, not like layers and layers, but everything was speckled with some, with a, some dust, you know. So that probably was contributing to like an overheating factor or something, I don't know, but. So far, so good. We'll see. I couldn't even... Sh the weird thing is, I couldn't shut off my computer via holding the button down, the power button down on the top of the computer. I literally... I held it for 15 seconds. Nothing. I, I had to pull the plug. When I plugged it back in, the, after I sprayed off all the dust and stuff with the air, my monitors were working again. And I decided to just, you know, try the power down with the pressing the button thing. And after three seconds, it turned off. So I don't know what that was all about. No clue, but the ethernet did not come back up after spraying, you know, or getting all the dust out. <clears throat> now, there are two tasks I would have you perform. The first requires you to inspect the buildings which surround uh, the Ondo settlement and note their most distinctive characteristics. For the second, I wish you to use this knife to take scrapings from one of the, re from one of the remnant walls. Pray be as thorough as you can. I shall be waiting here for the results of your investigations. So survey point right here. So let's go here first. Point and click. Yep. Inspect the buildings. Okay. Let's start. I can't go that way. Okay. Please zoom in closer. The wonders we're about to behold here. I just see a kind of a white stone building. Well, discolored white at this point. We got some stained glass windows. Am I looking for like what am I looking for? Signs of like places we can enter or I'm just going up and up and up and it's still more white stone and more stained glass. It doesn't seem to be like it seems to be fused into the rock, though. At the, at the sides of it, like the glass seems to be fused directly into the rock. It on on both sides. So either very good craftsmanship, like making it look like that. A distinctive. There's not a window here. I didn't even get to that window. That was weird. The tall, slender towers uh, feature many elaborate windows, the likes of which you have seen nowhere else. Yeah, it looks like there's stone across some of these windows. That's it? That's the defining feature you wanted from me? 
Okay, sure. Sure, bud. Certainly, bud. I don't know I'm doing that, sorry. So as a reminder to all of you, like, maybe every three months, just, you know, open your computer up, get, get the dust out. Maybe even more frequently than that. We're using a, myth, a mithril knife on this lower portion of the remnant wall. Where it looks like you set the, the point of the knife against the wall, but even after applying considerable pressure, you cannot remove so much as a flake of stone. Yeah, so like this white, like man, handcrafted or mancrafted stone also seems to be turning into the stone that is found around it. Kinda, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's the same color and texture as the stone kind of that the tower is built into. Like coral. Like coral stone, kind of. If it can be called stone. Yeah, whatever. And what have you discovered? She thinks on what we tell her. Yes, I would agree that the windows are most distinctive. It would seem the structures appear the, the same to both your sight and mine. And you say you could not so much as scratch the wall, even with all your might behind the blade. I'm on Dragoon, so I got strength gear right now, so I have considerable might. We look up at the tower. Mercy, everywhere I turn in this place, my gaze is drawn by peculiar materials for which I do not have a name. The buildings I had you investigate are prime examples. They may appear to be constructed of ordinary stone, but I assure you it is nothing of the sort. If pressed, I would describe the substance as a composite of several mineral properties, blended, blended to create a material of unparalleled durability. Even the Ronkin Empire, once the greatest power in Novrant, produced nothing which compares to this level of perfection. But if not the Ronkins, then who? Who are, the, who are these ancients the Ondo claim as the architects of their sanctuary? I suppose our answer lies with it with the reason Emmet Selk withdrew here to the Tempest. He may simply have wished to retreat somewhere mere mortals would struggle to reach, but there are so uh, there are many such remote locations. Why here specifically? Emmet Selk is devoted to his role, yeah, uh, and thus we might assume his choice of stronghold somehow serves the Asin agenda. Or mayhap, tis a place more dear to him than any other. We think on it as well. Are you saying this plate this was built for ancient Asians? Or could this place provide power to Emmet Selk? Or I couldn't say either way. Could could this place provide power to Emmet Selk? That was my first thought as well, yet no matter how superior the materials, a, a ruin is just a ruin. It is not that would decide a battle's outcome. Which brings us- you don't know that. <laughs> Which brings us to my second theory, that he has some other, more personal connection to the site. What if these structures are, rema are remnants of a time before history, of a star that was yet whole and unbroken? Such traces in the source, uh, traces in the source would have been obliterated by the succession of umbral calamities, but here in the first, they may they might have remained untouched for millennia. A copy of the mural in the Kitana Ravel, Almet presented it to me during my for, my visit to Fano, for after our victory in Kalusia. Screen goes dark. We're looking at a a paper with uh, kind of the drawing we saw with a city on fire. Here in the first scene. By Emmet Selk's own words, it depicts a city of eons past and the disaster which befell it. The design is much simplified, of course, but do you see the similarities between its towers and those you have just inspected? Tall windows, I guess? <laughs> we are close to the truth, I feel. Let us search the surrounds for another tower, one which matches the picture near enough to remove all doubt. From what I have seen, not more than sand and more sand lies to the east, and the south held no such structures. I suggest we try our luck further to the northwest. I can view the mural anytime using my key items. Uh, 
So we actually have to use the map and my key items because there will not be a... This is the next place to go for the quest point. So we're just running with our Chocobo underwater. I do see a bunch of like, these aren't towers though, they're just, that's a tower. That's also a ravine I can't cross, so hold on, we're gonna keep going north along the ravine before we jump down to our death. Is this what it's like to play games with no like quest markers, you just have to read the quest text and then guess? But yeah, there's, um, fuck, I can't describe rock formations very well. There was one that looked like maybe like four or five rock pillars, and then it had these uh, perpendicular cross sections. So it almost looked like there were levels and like windows. So you had four, so yeah, that's a good enough description. <laughs> kind of like an office building made of naturally formed stone. This doesn't look like a tower. That is just a wall. I'm gonna go as far northwest as this place allows. You know what, just for the heck of it. I think we're looking for the main one in the middle. I am to the northwest of the Ondo Cups. Thank you. I don't really see anything resembling anything in the, in the mural. And also, I didn't really feel like the first towers that we saw were anything like the ones in the mural, so... Fuck me, I guess. If I wanted to play games that didn't really give me any direction, I would be playing Baldur's Gate right now. It gives you, like, little hints here and there, but then you figure out every fucking thing else, man. Or you don't. We've come to a, a deep chasm, which I cannot cross. Inside the chasm are like some weird, like, coral structures that look look kind of like your veins or arteries with the the capillaries kind of branching out from them. Capillary coral. Capicoral. Well, actually, maybe that thing that I saw is the is the towers that I'm looking for. And they're all turned to stone. I didn't see any glass at all. Like, the, maybe like the entirety of it has become stone somehow. But no, not really, no. Like, this this one, maybe. The one that I was... No, no, it doesn't look like the picture at all. These look like ruins. The ruins of a tower. The ruins of a couple towers that are, like, caved in on each other. Oh, but I found a point in an ether current. Let's get the ether current. I this doesn't it doesn't look like it to me, but whatever, I guess we're gonna see. Some towers that are like broken in. No. No, I'm sorry. Holding the mural up does not help me at all in this. Thank you for the side by side, though. I. I said, I. This is the mural writ large. No, sure, whatever. How do you how do you see that in this? I just see. No. Though I cannot guess at its purpose, it must have been an imposing sight. 
Now how much of the tower's height lies hidden beneath the ground, I wonder? Oh, well. Even then, I don't really get it. Centuries of our history have settled, uh, have settled upon such ruins. Countless layers of dust and sediment. An entire civilization is existence forgotten all, by all except a handful of Vassians. And yet it did exist. They lived here, in this city. She shakes her head. But let us focus on what we've learned th learned thus far. The Ondo chieftain spoke of mysterious of yeah, mysterious stirring of a land illuminated. Judging by his words, he believes this phenomenon related to the ancient's return. Thus, we can surmise that what the Ondo saw shining in the abyss was, in all likelihood, yet another remnant of this age-old civilization. And who else would light the lanterns, as Reen put it, than Emmett Selk himself? Tis almost certain he is he is there. The shadow was creeping over her face, and I thought maybe that was related to what we were... But I guess it's just the changing of the day. Have I never noticed that before? That we actually get shadows moving with daytime and nighttime? Whatever. Cool. But if we are to find this stronghold in a timely manner, it seems gaining the Ondo's trust remains our, swift our swiftest path forward. I only hope our deeds are enough to win them over. City of the Ancients is complete. I don't have my sponsor and unsponsor list up, so that's the end of this video. Um, I will see you for the next one soon. Bye.